Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome to my channel. Today we are here to unbox July 2017 Loot Crate. This month's theme is animation. So when you open up the box, this is what you're going to see. Burger of the day, the Loot Great ex Exclusive Burger, $5.95. So, the first item is going to be our shirt, which is a Nickelodeon Lootwear exclusive Teenage Ninja Turtles shirt. And there it's got kind of like a turtle shell-ish on the top, which you can't really see. Kinda, wait, there we go. It's got that kind of design on the top, and then it's got the turtle van on it. So that's actually a really, really cool shirt. I like that, I like the colors, I like the design. It's very simple with the color. I like that. Alright, so the next item we've got is from Rick and Morty. Explicit content. Rick, Peace Among Worlds, Season 2, Episode 6. I have never seen Rick and Morty. I have no idea. This is Rick, obviously. Alright. In this box, it says 18 plus Adult Swim, so I'm assuming that's for the show. We wish you peace among worlds from Season 2, Episode 6, The Ricks Must Be Crazy. We've recreated Rick giving his microburst greeting for your displaying pleasure. The following product is rated LCMA, not a toy. So... If you are under the age of 18, this is apparently explicit content. No idea. Huh. Okay. I see why. So let's go in with a little stand. And he is flipping the bird. All right, be interesting. Next, we have the Bob's Burger Box. Bob's Burgers Burger Box, real recipes for joke burgers. Huh, okay. Lots of plastic on this one. So they're recipe cards. How to cook a basic burger best. New bacon, baconings burger. Do the Brussels burger, the Brussels sprouts, parsnips vu francais burger, sweet home avocado burger, summertime burger, if looks could kale burger, and then they've got pictures on the backs of the recipes. That's an interesting product. It's different. I don't know how much use I'm going to get out of it, but all right. Hopefully those are the two items that I wasn't super excited about because I don't know anything about the programs. So the next is a Slurm Koozie 2-pack from Futurama. Yeah. Picture there. And Slurm Koozies. Next we have our pin, which is a Bob's Burgers pin. That's it. All right. What's next month's theme? Hi. Now I'm gonna have to go on. Hold on a minute. All right. Let's try that again. So, next month's theme, I believe, is Kingdom. It's featuring Lord of the Rings, Adventure Time, and Zelda. Um, I know everybody's all excited about Zelda with the whole Wind of the Wild or Breath of the Wild or whatever with the Switch. Um, out of my realm. Lord of the Rings is cool, but with the offerings this month, this was kind of the make or break month for me with Loot Crate. Um, I'm canceling my subscription for Loot Crate and I'm going to give Geek Gear a try next. Um, I've been weighing between Geek Gear and Geek Fuel and I like the fact that Geek Gear has the theme, so if I decide that I want to opt out of a month, I can. Um, yeah. So that's what we've got. If you like Rick and Morty, if you like Bob's Burgers, you might be excited about this crate. 
I'm not, um, and I haven't been excited about Loot Crate for a while, so this will definitely be my last box with Loot Crate, and we are going to give Geek Gear a try next. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button down below. I do several boxes like this every month. I'm always going to give you my honest, unbiased opinion. I don't even really think, honestly, that we hit value. They raised the price last month or the month before, and so I thought that meant that they were going to start throwing something extra in, and it seems like they actually cut something out because I feel like we're getting less items with the, uh, with the price hike. And, I mean, $10 for a T-shirt the button you can probably give two or three dollars these are throwaway items these are like oh they're loot crate is exclusive and they're licensed so we'll give them two bucks we'll give them a dollar a piece i mean i who buy it nobody uses koozies anymore like rednecks use koozies <laughs> like people down south that actually have heat outside and go around drinking cold beverages and such uh, use koozies your average person doesn't use koozies they're throwaway items this i mean like i said I wouldn't pay for this. I wouldn't buy this. Um, it'll go up on my shelf in the box. Um, yeah, not thrilled. So, anyhow, we shall see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.